All right, you guys, I got some mats from MetaMats. Um, I would say who my sponsor is, but you, you, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory, right? And it's pretty self-explanatory what this mat is because I have opened this mat on the channel before. I'm gonna, I'm about to show you guys some really cool Amanda LaPalm mats that MetaMats made, but will be sold on, you know, on Amanda's websites, but you know, MetaMats made them, that's why I have them, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll explain that here in a little bit. But moving on, um, getting the getting this out of the way. I've actually shown a two-player version of this mat on camera before, actually two two-player versions of this uh, mat on camera before. Um, in the uh, limited uh, black box shit all video, um, I'll have the card for that, you know, pop up right now. But um, this came with uh, stickers, uh, so he's got some stickers left over from like the, the uh, limited edition, uh, special edition run, so that is awesome. Um, but yeah, um, the uh, two-player uh, um, Shadal maps. Those were yeah for a limited time. I guess they're they're one players now. This is what you can get now. So, I mean, uh, my video said limited edition, right? Single player, two player, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, Amanda does really great designs. The Shadal mat uh, turned out fantastic because of her design and because Meta Mats made it. And Meta Mats makes you know the best mats in Yu-Gi-Oh. I, I I'm not biased or anything at all. But <laughs> no, for real though, they really do. They're they are the original creators of the color cloth play mat. Anyways, I'm serious. Like if you see anybody making mats like this, they're all rip offs of Dave. He was doing it first, not playing. So um, these stickers, way cool. This mat, way cool. Already shown it though. Let's move on here to the new stuff. Is this? I don't think this one's new. Let's move on to the new stuff. Yeah, these will be new. <laughs> I was like, he, he's gonna have notes in here for me for the new stuff. Makes it easy for me, because I don't remember everything. Oh my gosh, this is new material. Oh man, that is new. I, I That is new material. I know that's new material. Anyways, this is our newest release. Limited edition Endless Watts two-player cloth playmat. The fabric used is for sample purposes only. It cannot be purchased on our website. Enjoy, Dave. Dang, <laughs> that is kick ass. Oh, what, dude? Why you do this? Dave, why you do this? <laughs> why you do this? Test fabric, whoa, whoa. It says test fabric on the back and this is different on the back too, slightly. I feel like I've, built, I've seen this backing on another meta mat that I have, but like this is super thin. Like this is, this is the thinnest meta mat since like the first one he ever made me and that one's not even as thin as this. This is like so thin somehow. Endless Waltz, not Endless Watts. See, I thought that was two T's. I think it's Endless Waltz. That makes a lot more sense now. I, I Man, is that two? That's an L and a T, right? Guys, if it's not Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm not the best at it, okay? But um, when it comes to meta mats, I do know my meta mats. I get them all the time. I give them out, you know, all the time. Uh, this is way different than anything he's made. It would stick to the table a little better if I didn't have this other mat beneath it, believe it or not. It actually sticks to the table. It feels like better than it sticks to the top of uh, the mat that I have underneath here, weirdly enough. But, wow. Yeah, it keeps like kind of bunching because it's so thin, but that might be because of the mat underneath. But it's just, it is, it feels so nice, guys. Like, I don't know if you could see this on camera, but like this, this can't be purchased. Like what? It is, it's like a shiny fabric. It's so thin and it's like shiny somehow. That is way, way cool. Um, man, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing here. Like, like which one do I need to give out? Like, do I give out that one? Like, that's, uh. I think this is gonna be uh, the cream of the video though, guys, <laughs> right here, because uh, I, I, I peeked inside just a second ago and I was like, oh. and uh, once again, okay? Here's a sample of one of Amanda LaPalm's play mats she is releasing, okay? So, from Dave, so this this won't have the MetaMats logo on it, at least I don't think it will. This, this may have been physically produced by Dave, at least this one was, but uh, it's not sold on MetaMats.com. Very clear. I will have Amanda LaPalm's uh, information pinned down in the comments section. Wow! She did great. <laughs> That was upside down, but she did great. Wow. What? See, stuff like this makes me wish I played Burning Abyss, and well, I used to. It makes me wish I never put the deck down, because I played it right after Duelist Alliance, man. And if I would've stuck with it, I would've had a deck this whole time. Sometimes stuff like that happens, and it's just not fair. Anyways. <laughs> Wow, this is beautiful. 
Beatrice looks really good. Like, she looks really good. Like, her face looks realistic. This looks awesome. I mean, Dante looks realistic. Like, this looks great. But, like, I mean, her face looks just... I mean, that's on point. That is on point. Everything. This whole thing is just on point. It's just so perfect. It's like Beatrice up here all bright and beautiful. And then the burning abyss down below. And all of the monsters. Graf, Seer, Farfa. This is awesome. Skarm. This, yeah. This is the uh, this is the coolest map since the Shadal map. Probably. Yeah, it's, it's probably the coolest Yu-Gi-Oh map ever since the Shadal map, basically. Oh, wow. So once again, guys, this is one of Amanda LaPalm's mats. I will have her information pinned down in the comment section if you guys, you know, want to check her out. Buy this mat. Check out the other great stuff she does. Um, you know, I was talking about this earlier, but, you know, one thing that she did do for meta mats that I've talked about before, one thing she did design was this. Uh, yeah, this uh, limited edition. Or, you know, this is the single player version of it, of the uh, Shadal mats that I've shown on the channel before. But you get it. You've seen her her art on my channel before, uh, bare minimum. You seen her art around in the Yu-Gi-Oh community before probably um, and this is this is her work right here you can buy it and this is probably yeah one of the best pieces she's done in my opinion this is the best thing I've seen her do since the Shadal mat like I was saying a minute ago because this is kick ass like I get it both of them are Duelist Alliance era but like that's kind of good the Duelist Alliance era of Yu-Gi-Oh was one of, if not the best era of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. So Amanda, yeah, you did really great. Uh, everything I've seen you design uh, looks beautiful. And uh, Dave, everything that you make and send me, uh, I, I want to keep. So <laughs> yeah, like I have problems giving away Matt sometimes because I'm like, uh, do I want to get that one? Uh, that one's really cool. <laughs> like, uh, like when he sent me those god card mats, I kept all of them. I gave away like the Kitsune mat or whatever. I was like, I'm keeping these god card mats. They're way too sick. Uh, but this one, this is a Necroz mat. Once again, I think this one might be Amanda the Palm as well. I assume that all these are if they're, if they're being sent to me in this bunch. But this might be her design as well. But this one is a meta mat, I believe. And it even has the logo on it. I know for a fact that this other one that has a note, the uh, Burning Abyss one, that one is going to be on her website. It's not a meta mat. And this Necroz mat is way sick. I used to play Necroz back in the day. Um, I played Necroz during Necroz format before switching over to Heroes uh, because Heroes were cheaper and like you could like slaughter Necroz and a lot of other stuff would just dark log like if you went first and you played heroes you won unless you were bad <laughs> because like uh, heroes were so consistent you just made dark law and passed like seriously like burning abyss uh Shadal, yang zing uh, necroz literally any deck that was any good at the time uh, needed its graveyard and uh, not to mention clee like i mean their their stuff wouldn't get you know they would get banished it wouldn't uh, go uh, it wouldn't get stacked in the extra deck so so yeah guys uh, necroz format uh necroz were the best deck but uh i switched to heroes because uh th that deck was burning a hole in my pocket just sitting around with the high money cards because necroz of brian act was what like like $300 a pop or some shit, like $600 a pop. I can't remember how much I paid for, for Necroz, guys, but it was stupid. It was stupid, and that was after buying and opening like three boxes of Secret Forces and pulling uh, good from Secret Forces and getting that lucky with Secret Forces. Oh my gosh, because I pulled like, from like two or three boxes, two or three boxes of Secret Forces, I pulled like two Bryanax, a Trishula, and like one or two Valks. And it was, it, I got some busted boxes, and other people just got pink dolphins. <laughs> and I still had to spend a ton of money to, to finish my deck but um these mats are just insane i i really 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 enjoy the, the i really i keep looking over because that burning abyss mat is this is cool and all i mean I, it's not like that i'm discontent with this i'm not saying that this is that this is garbage this is great this is a beautiful mat everything i get I, i'm just like this is awesome you guys keep getting better and better and better but uh whew. um this mat right here is art um, Farfa, uh, the Yugi tuber Farfa, not you know the card. Uh, if he sees this, he's probably gonna freak out. <laughs> he probably, he might already have it. I don't know. Like anybody, anybody who likes Burning Abyss for that matter. Seriously, guys, this is one. This is, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, this is the coolest Yu-Gi-Oh mat I have seen since this one. Um, both designed and made by the same people. So. 
I'm not saying that Meta Mats and Amanda La Palm are, you know, the best duo in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Mats, but uh, I mean, I, I might be, I might be saying that. Subscribe. <laughs>